this video we're going to continue to solve trigonometric equations. So equations involve trigonometric functions. This is the fourth video in this series that looks at doing this so the equations are getting more complicated with each video but hopefully we'll be okay. So let's have a look at the example we're going to try and do. So solve the equation 2 cos theta equals sine theta plus 30. So we have a sum inside the sine. Now if you've been watching all the videos in this series or if you generally know a bit about trigonometry you'll know as soon as you see the sum of two angles inside a trigonometric function, a sine or a cos or even a tan, there is an identity that lets you break it up. And there's a different one depending on whether it's sine, cos or tan. You either need to know these or you need to have them to hand because they're very useful. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the identity for sine to rewrite sine of theta plus 30. So what we get is we start with 2 cos theta equals sine theta plus 30. We keep the left hand side the same. We're not going to do anything to that at the moment. The right hand side, we're not going to fundamentally change it. We're just going to rewrite it. So the two things are still equal. We've just rewritten the right hand side. So we have 2 cos theta equals, well, this is, I'm not going to go over it again because we've done it in previous videos, but this is where you use the sum angle formula. So the, the formula for when you have two angles being summed inside the sine and what you would get is in this case because we have theta and 30 we'd get sine theta cos 30 plus cos theta sine 30. So that's just from using the formula form we have sine of x plus y. Now, if you don't know that again go watch the previous videos in this series or go look it up. So it looks a little more complicated but it's it's actually nicer because two of these terms on the right hand side cos 30 and sine 30 they're just numbers we can calculate them either put them into a calculator or you might just know them or you can use our exact value triangles which we've discussed in a previous video to figure them out because 30 is one of the angles in one of those exact value triangles so either way you'll get that 2 cos theta that's the left hand side hasn't changed equals root 3 over 2 times sine theta so that's cos 30 is root 3 over 2 plus a half cos theta so sine 30 is a half so now we've got 2 cos theta on one side and a half cos theta on the other so let's take that a half cos theta across it becomes minus one half cos theta so you get 2 cos theta minus one half cos theta equals 3 over 2 cos theta or 3 halves cos theta so that's equal to root 3 over 2 sine theta that's what's left on the right hand side now let's try and get our cos theta and sine theta on the same side and our numbers on the other so we want to do this it, you can see that to get the cos theta or sine theta to move it because they're both timesing the numbers we'd have to divide now if we divide sine theta by cos theta we know that that's tan theta so that's what we want to do so let's divide both sides by cos theta and on the right hand side we'll get sine theta over cos theta and then we'd have that root 3 over 2 but let's take that over to the left hand side because it's a fraction that's timesing on one side if we take it over to the other side we flip it because we divide by it so when you divide by a fraction you flip it and then times by it so essentially we get 3 over 2 times by 2 over root 3 so we just take it to the other side but flip it over so we get 3 over 2 times 2 over root 3. So this is just rearranging the equation. This isn't really to do with trigonometry. So there are videos on rearranging equations in some of the other series of videos in uh, this set of videos. So if you're not sure how to do this, try and go over rearranging equations. But all I've done here is move my terms around a bit. So now I can rewrite sine theta over cos theta as tan theta. And then what do I have here on the right? Let's write it in a bit of a funny way. So 3 over 2 is the same as root 3 times root 3 over 2. So root 3 times root 3 by definition is equal to 3. And then we have that is times by 2 over root 3. So now you can see why I've written it like this. I can cancel these 2s, but I can also cancel one of these root 3s with the one on the bottom. And I just end up with tan theta equals the remaining root 3. So that tells me that theta is equal to 60 degrees. This is again from my exact value triangle. 
root 3 is one of the sides in that triangle, so I can figure out what tan theta of it is. Well, root 3 is one of the sides and 1 is one of the sides, which is what's important. But if you look at the exact triangle, you'll see what I mean. Or you could just put it into your calculator, do inverse tan of root 3, and you'll get 60. So this is a solution. We want all the solutions in the range 0 to 180. Now, if you know a bit about tan, you know that 0 to 180, that is its period. And over that period, you only get one of every single solution. Because let's have a look. The graph looks like this. So if we go from 0 to 180, so I've drawn two of its periods, from minus 180 up to 180. If we just look from 0 to 180, you can see that we don't have any other solutions. Um, if we draw a line through root 3 on the x-axis, it would only cut the tan graph once. And that would be at 60 degrees. So that is our only answer.